Number 55. Which atom has the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, 5s2, 4d2? Oof. Okay. <laughs> so the first thing I see here is that we're talking about an atom and not an ion. If they said ion, that means that there had to have been a charge. But an atom has no charge. So wherever we just got to follow the atomic number to get to what this guy is or girl, right? So um, just know that this is the S's, right? This is the D's. This is the P's, and this is the F's. Now, technically, what you can do is you can add up all of these electrons. 2, 2, 6, 2, 6, 2, 10, 6, 2, and 2. If we add all of those up, technically, that's the total amount of electrons, right? And... If it's an atom, there's no charge, so it's in its ground state, which means that the total number of electrons should equal the total number of, I'll just say, protons. And what does the total number of protons represent? The protons always equals the atomic number. And we can always find an atomic number on the periodic table, right? So if I just added up all those electrons... 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 10 plus 6 plus 2 plus 2, I should get a um, atomic number of 40. And remember, every atomic number is different and unique from element to element. No two elements have the same atomic number. So all you got to do is just literally find out where number 40 is on the periodic table. And number 40 is zirconium, and that's the atom. So it's ZR. So all you had to do is just count up those electrons on the top, the total number, that would give you the total uh, number of protons, which is the atomic number, and then you just find number 40 on the periodic table. However, I want to say that you can only do this because it said atom. If it said ion, we would not have been able to do that, all right? So this one was fun. What did you think, guys? Let me know in the comments what you thought. Hopefully this helped you out. If you want to help us out, click the subscribe button. Um, and also that will give access to tons more people that want the OpenStack solutions just like yourselves, all right? So thank you so much for that. Keep going, guys. I'll see you guys in the next question. Bye-bye.